Oh, good morning. We are now on deck 16, ready for a sea day here on the world's largest cruise ship, the Wonder of the Seas. And we have a very special surprise today. We're gonna get this. So we have rented a casita for the day. It's going to be overlooking the pool, not too far away from the Lime and Coconut Bar, not too far away from Splashaway Bay. And it is a very comfortable bed. We have some bar service. It'll be a nice way to enjoy our sea day here on Wonder of the Seas. So included with this casita is a safe. We can lock some valuables in it. And then we also have a call button that will notify our attendant if we need something. So if we need a drink, we just hit the call button. He'll come bring the drinks to us. Back in the wind jammer for some bite to eat, some breakfast, and washi washi time. Just finished up some breakfast here in the Windjammer and we're headed back up to the Casita. Enjoy some time by the pool. little bowl. It's fun. You ordered me a drink. Did you order me a drink? You're welcome. Oh, it fits in a bucket. I like it. <laughs> good morning. It's a good way to start your day off by the pool. Kids are in the pool. Mom and dad make a pizza. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> So we are loving life here in our casitas. The girls have the freedom to kind of roam. I mean, we can see the entire pool deck from where we are. We can see the hot tub, we can see the pool. Um, we're not that far away from the splash area. So um, the kids, kind of, we like stay on the pool deck, don't leave the pool deck without us knowing. Um, and we're just here relaxing in this wonderful lounger. A little bit of shade, a little bit of sun if we want it. Uh, we've got the uh, call button if we need, you know, any drink service, any water, cocktails, anything like that. Um, and it's just a great experience so far. We paid basically about $200 for the day. And uh, for me to not have to get up at 7 a.m. to go get in a pool chair because it's really hard to find good seats uh, on this ship, particularly great seats to, to lounge for the day, it's, that's a chore. So having that guaranteed space, for me, that's worth it. Uh, so anyway, we and plus if you get up and leave, you don't have to worry about your towels being gone or your stuff being gone because you just, they'll, they'll put a rope up and it'll say this cabana is reserved and then, you know, they just keep moving on. So it's a great space, loving it so far and we're just enjoying our sea day uh, overlooking this beautiful pool area on Wonder of the Seas. I am going to get some food at Loco Fresh to take back to our casita and then we will hopefully find the kids and have some lunch. We're having a great sea day. We're so relaxed. It's exactly what we needed. So now it's time for a bite of Mexican food.
Okay, I am now going downstairs and uh, gonna grab some pizza to bring back up from Sorrento's. Monica got some uh, Mexican food, taking it back to the uh, casita, and the uh, girls are gonna eat some of that. It's been a great day so far, and I'm excited to see what the rest of the day holds. Okay, I got my pizza, and now it's time to take it back up to the casita on deck 60. Easy peasy. We have quite the smorgasbord here. We got pizza, we got burritos, we got tacos. Anything you want right here at the Casita del Glen on deck 16. So this is the lime and coconut, straight from the lime, the lime and, and coconut. coconut. That's the name of the bar. So cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Not bad. I can see why it's a signature drink. It's interesting. It's not too coconutty. I don't love coconut. It tastes like the beach. It does. I like it. So they're now uh, crowding up around us because of the world's sexiest man competition that's about to happen uh, down in the pool. So that should be somewhat entertaining. We'll see how it goes. Who's your early favorite? Esteban. He rubs someone's feet. I mean, how can you beat that? I mean, gosh. <laughs> Totally called it. Totally called it. <laughs> you can rub my feet any day. Congratulations, Esteban. You deserved it. And happy birthday. <laughs> well, that was pretty entertaining watching the world's sexiest man competition. It's a beautiful day out here. I mean, it is beautiful. Sun's shining. Music's cranked up. People are having a great time. It is a perfect day at sea. And now look what we have here in the casita our very own fruit tray. How cool is that? So casitas can be rented and checked in at Lime and Coconut on deck 16. That's where you make your reservation, you come in the morning at 10 a.m., you have it from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and you take care of that right here at Lime and Coconut on deck 16. So I haven't seen the kids for a while, so it's time to check on them. I know exactly where they are, I just haven't seen them. Looks like they're having a great time at this incredibly huge splash away bay area. It's massive. So one perk to this great pool area, this entire trip I have not tried yet, is the uh, Sprinkles ice cream place. You get free soft serve. I'm going to try that out. That's a fun treat on a warm day out at sea. It's on days like this, I'm so excited that we have our casita. Don't have to worry about pulling towels, towels and chairs, holding space. I know exactly where I'm going. All right, that'll do it for a day by the pool. Had a great day in our casita. It's a great afternoon and a great morning. And now we're going to get, get ready for dinner. We're actually having dinner in the main dining room tonight. The first time on the Wonder of the Seas. Deck 11. Deck, Deck 11. 11. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's our cheer when we get to our floor.
Okay, so I just went into the uh, unboxed area here on deck 16. It's kind of a vending area. We didn't have any uh, after sun lotion. And so uh, Lulu needed some, so I just came up here, used the vending machine, used my car to check out, and it was super easy. I really enjoyed it. All right, we are all dressed up and we're headed to dinner, we're eating in the main dining room tonight for the first time on this ship. Heading to uh, the main dining room, excited about it. Here we go, here's a wrap oil for you. So the main dining room is actually three levels. It starts at deck three, goes up to deck four, and then we are at the top deck of the dining room. We're at deck five. It is technically formal night. It's not overly formal. Don't worry about it if you don't bring a black tie or anything like that. Formal nights are kind of a thing of the past, especially on Royal Caribbean and some of the other mainstream cruise lines. But it is, does give you an opportunity to dress up, kind of a dress your best kind of night as well. So I, I've got my jacket on, button up shirt, slacks, Although, and then there's some people here with tuxedos on. It's just up to your leisure here in the main dining room on formal night. Hello, whoa. this is so good. You got excited. So Zeppi and Lulu have their appetizers. Zeppi got the appetizer of mac and cheese and french fries as an appetizer. And, uh, that's pretty awesome for an appetizer on a cruise ship to have a mac and cheese and french fries. That's her first appetizer, by the way. Lulu got a shrimp cocktail. I got French onion soup. I rarely miss an opportunity to have French onion soup. <laughs> and I got the minestrone soup. Looks delicious. Very good. Here you go, princess. Now you can enjoy your Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Bon appetit. Thank you. Thank you. I think we were all looking for some comfort food. So even though it's formal night, they have all the fancy foods with lobster and fillets and tenderloins and all this yummy stuff. We had spaghetti because that's just what we wanted. <laughs> I got the baked Alaska, which always makes me think of Scrooge. Apple pie. Good. I got the pineapple sunshine cake. It looks delicious. That pineapple sunshine cake is excellent. It's really good. All right, we just finished dinner, enjoyed it, had a great time. Uh, great wait staff, Ostaha, the head waiter, was very nice, even cut up uh, Zeppi's pasta. Great experience as always in the main dining room. Just so many options on this ship to do everything. And so this was our night we chose. We're gonna do the main dining room and uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. So we just got out of the uh, comedy show with Simeon Kirklees. I think that's a very serious name. Close I enough, right? I written down, so I'm not sure. <laughs> he was pretty funny. What do you think? I was funny. It was it was really funny. A little, <laughs> a little raunchy, but but funny. He made fun of a lot of people in the audience, and he was very off the cuff. It wasn't just a staged show with a set, and he really played off the audience. So I laughed hard. And it was adult. Times. It was it was adult comedy, and, and there was a 16 year old, and I think that may have been even a little rough. <laughs> he definitely picked up the 16 year old. He's, he's got a lot of explaining to do to his parents later. <laughs> but it was great. What a great time. So we have made our way to Trellis Bar in Central Park, one of Monica's favorite places on the ship. And we're going to have a cocktail. Cheers. Just destiny. I know Zach alluded to it, but this really has become my favorite spot on the ship. I think you can probably hear the music playing, and it's live music here in Central Park. And we're at the Trellis Bar, and it's just, it's just take a breath moment, you know? It's 
away from the crowds, away from the people, away from the loud noises, which I actually really do like. I love a lot of stimulation when I'm traveling. But for some reason, this just draws me in. And every time we do something, he says, what do you want to do next? And I'm like, can we go back to Central Park? So this is just some place, if you are nervous about traveling on a royal ship because of the size, because of the amount of people, because how much is happening and how much stimulation there is, if you are nervous about that, which I'm assuming you're probably not, but just in case you are, or maybe you have a, someone coming with you who is nervous and you're trying to convince them that this is the right thing for them, Central Park is that perfect escape. It's the perfect moment where you can relax and anybody who wants to escape the hustle and bustle, they don't have to go back to their room, they can come here. So just a little plug for those who are looking for a little quieter moment on their hustle and bustle crazy cruise. Well, that just about does it for the sixth day of this Royal Caribbean Wonder of the Seas cruise. We've had a great sea day. Woke up a little late, but we had a great time with our casita on deck 16. Nice pool day, bringing us drinks. What do you think? Oh, I loved it. It was absolutely worth it. It was very relaxing, which I think is exactly what you need after three ports where you go kind of hard. You know, you're like, oh, just relax. And so we got to do that today. Yeah, and Mike is a nap, and so it was nice. It's always a good day. Uh, and then we had a, a great dinner tonight in the uh, main dining room. And other than that, we just kind of lounged around. Saw a good comedy show, um, had a nice time together on the uh, trellis bar in Central Park. Kids went to the kids club and it's just been a great day. Tomorrow, speaking of great days, it's going to be the perfect day. The perfect day at Coco Cay for our final day here on Wonder of the Seas. We really look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment below. What was your favorite part of our day? And then uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video does come out. As always, we'll see you real soon.